Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk about Atosa Therapeutics Incorporated, ticker symbol A-T-O-S. They're having a nice update today, so I'm going to get into their chart and give you my thoughts. And then after that I have some other nice looking tradable charts that I want to show you as well. Now if you're new to my channel, I have been trading and investing for over 20 years and in each video I will show you trades that I see setting up right now. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future trading and investing ideas. And also if you would like to support the channel and become part of our Patreon community and see what we are buying and selling in real time for a measly $10 a month, that link is in the description. All right, let's get started on this technical analysis update video for Atosa Therapeutics Incorporated, ticker symbol ATOS. But before I get started, if you could do me a small favor and like the smash button and help me out with the YouTube algorithm for putting all this together for you guys, I would greatly appreciate it. And even if this kind of technical analysis isn't your thing, you can let me know that as well at the end of the video by simply hitting that thumbs down button twice for me. But with all that being said, please remember I am not a financial advisor. All this is just my opinion. I'm just trying to show you what I see happening with the charts. Please make all of your own trading decisions. Let's get into this chart. Now, I do not own any Atosa Therapeutics at the moment. If this is your first time watching my uh, technical analysis videos on Atosa, let me just give you a quick summary. Um, I had been watching this stock when it started pulling back from this top, and I was hoping to get in at this level here, right about $4.76 or so. Let me go intraday to show you why I wanted to get in there. Back the chart out a little bit, but this is the area that I thought had the most touches and had the greatest potential for a bounce. And when I draw my support areas and resistance areas, I like to find an area with the most touches, not exactly a single uh, you know, line in the sand for a certain uh, price right down to the penny. I like to look for an area with the most touches. I think um, that has the greatest possibilities for a bounce. And as we can see, it did bounce just above, um, got down to about $4 and maybe 97 cents or so. And I had my air, my uh, by order, I think it was at 481, so it just missed it by a couple of percent. But I was hoping for a breakdown to this area with an, an immediate move back up into this consolidation right here with another move up above it and a hole. And that's exactly what happened. So it's unfortunate. I didn't end up getting any of this, but uh, you know, it does happen. <laughs> I'll look to get in on a pullback and actually I'm thinking about potentially getting in right now after I get done making this video because this is a pretty nice pullback into this support area right here. You can see there is a lot of touches, one, two, three, four, five, six touches and it's pulled right back into it and it's bouncing nicely. So this is a perfect area for entering a stock that has gotten away from you. Unfortunately, I started making this video so I might end up missing this bounce. Um, and if I do, you know, it happens because there are opportunities all the time in the market. I don't beat myself up anymore if I miss out on one because tomorrow and the next day and the next day, there's probably going to be another one. I know this is a fantastic looking chart and there's a lot of buying coming into this one. So this, this one might sting if I do end up missing this one completely, but I'll look to probably get out, get in on pullbacks like this until the uptrend stops. But the way this turnaround is looking right now, um, looks like a pretty healthy turnaround. All right, the next stock I want to talk about is SC Works Corporation, ticker symbol W-O-R-X. And this one was actually brought to my attention by my buddy Thomas. So I appreciate you letting me know about this one. Somehow, this escaped the clutches of my scans. Seems like my scans have been leaking like a sieve lately. But anyway, um, this thing is pulling back nicely for a potential bounce trade. Also off of that 8-period exponential moving average. Seems like that's the theme for today and yesterday. I'm getting a lot of those. You know, sometimes they show up, sometimes they don't. But this one is pulling back towards this area of, let's call it uh, 218 to 220. Actually, let's go uh, intraday a little bit. But we can see how nice this pullback is setting up. And this thing uh, could potentially be starting a nice rounded bottom formation. And I would look for a bounce off that 8-period exponential moving average. 
But if I back it out just a little bit, this is the support area that I am definitely going to be interested in if it comes down to this area tomorrow, which, uh, you know, it's coming down pretty hard, so I wouldn't be a bit surprised. This is a long way down, but if it does, that's exactly what I want to see for a potential day trade bounce. And actually, let's go back to the daily chart. Get a little closer. Where, though, there it is. So that is looks is looking like that is going to be a pretty. Why is this not working? Anyway, um, that's looking like a pretty decent area for a bounce because this white line, this eight period exponential moving average, should be pretty close to it. It might be just slightly above it, depending on how fast it rises. I'm thinking it's probably going to be right in the middle of it. And uh, if we get another big down candle, I think we should at least get a quick day trade out of this one. And, uh, you know, these these type of stocks can, you know, bounce up 50, 60 cents uh, in the blink of an eye when they come down this hard. So, you know, that's a 20 to 30 percent move in one day. You know, that's not too shabby for a day trade. So I'm definitely going to keep works on my watch list and um, I'm going to put an alert. Uh, actually, let's put it right now so I don't forget. I think I'm going to put it at like 264. I want to have a little bit of time. Uh, I'm going to put it at 264. So if it goes through 264 um, and starts heading towards that green box, that should give me a little bit of time to plan the trade. It all depends on how hard it's coming down. Though I think, in my opinion, the harder it comes down, the better because, uh, you know, and sometimes it'll blast through that moving average, but usually not too far because with a stock like this, you know, the uh, the down move is getting pretty extended. So a bounce up, you know, 20, 30 percent, maybe up to around 275, 280. I don't think that is uh, that far out of the realm of possibility. And I think that's actually going to be quite probable if it does come down tomorrow and hit this uh, box, you know. So I'm going to be looking towards... Uh, entering WRRX. Again, thank you, Thomas, for pointing that out to me. And there's another one I want to show you before I close out the video. And it is Auto Web Incorporated. Let me back out the chart here. Um, we can see that Auto Web is making a beautiful, long, rounded bottom formation and is now breaking above resistance and pulling back a little bit. So if it can pull back towards this support area right about here, actually, let me draw it with that box, show you all the touches. Let's see if I can draw it. Sometimes when it touches these tops, you know, it kind of like sticks to it like a like a magnet. So it can be a little hard to draw. We'll see how it's bouncing around like that. But anyway, um, a lot of touches in this area. And uh, I think if it can pull back to this area right about here, right around three and a quarter or so and hold it, I think there is a pretty strong possibility because you can see how these lows have been headed higher, putting pressure on this resistance area. And it's finally blasting through. Now, I've been a little bit more patient on these type of plays lately because um, a lot, more, more often than not, or I should say, more than usual, these have been failing. I think it's just the type of market we're in. You know, the market kind of goes in cycles where these type of breakouts are working almost every single time. And then sometimes, you know, they're not working nearly as much. And I think we're in one of those areas right now. But, you know, that could change tomorrow. So if this thing comes back to this support area, holds this support area, and then starts to move back up, I think that's going to be a great entry to get in to auto web and then of course you know if it does if you do end up uh getting in on this and it fails you know that would be my signal just to take my small loss and look for the next opportunity but uh auto web incorporated definitely setting up for a nice potential trade Okay, everyone, that is all I have for this video, so I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions or comments on any of these stocks, or if you have any other ones you want me to take a look at, please leave it down there in the comment section. I will get to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. And until next time, take care, everybody.